so I use this thing called text Devo. I used to do it manually, but like this like really helps like make the process go faster. Cause like what it really does is like, I'll show you. You click the plus and there's a, there's two keyframes. You have a, you have a, um, a strength keyframe and then you know, it goes from 100 to zero. So I drag it like over here to like where I want it in. So when the strength is at 100, this is where you mess with stuff. Like I go to position and then I would move like, so I'd move this down. Uh, it would move, it would move up. Like you feel me? Uh, like stuff like that. And delay, what delay does is like, it's like the same thing with expressions. I can move it to 1.5. It'll take longer to end or like, it'll separate, it'll separate like how like they move up one by one. So like, say I put it in two. It's gonna um, take longer to go up. Put it at three. It's gonna like, you see how it delays? I usually uh, just stick with 1.2. Or like if I want the text to look different, you know, I would move it up. But I'm just gonna keep it at 1.2. Um, so I mess with the position a lot. I like the Y position. With um, with tracking amount, it may it separates the text so like it'll come up differently. Like it'll come up in this way. And then with reading direction right here, it'll um, you can do reversed, so it'll go up in that way. Inward, it'll go up in that way. But I'm just gonna keep reading direction. You know, you can mess with these settings by yourself. But like I mess with like a lot of the settings when I do text. You know, to make it look different. But I'm gonna put tracking zero, tracking to zero, and then I'm gonna graph it. You know, so it keeps like this is just normal text. You know, just goes up. You feel me? And then for the nail part, I'm gonna do uh, text typo again. And then I'm gonna show you like this is like the text I like doing. So like for now, I'll put um I'm just gonna put on the X tracking. So like you see, it looks it with this, it kind of looks like an overshoot, but like um it's not really an overshoot. You can use this graph, the fast graph, or the mid graph, depending how you want it. You feel me? And then. Yeah, I'm just gonna do. Uh, I think I'm just gonna stick with a mid graph. And then for the Xavier part, uh, this is what I do for some of them, cause like you know you don't want it to be like just X and Y. You don't want it to be boring. So I'm gonna do an overshoot for this. So I'm gonna put um, uh, make three keyframes. Right here, I'm gonna have this one. We got it. Make sure you anchor your text, obviously gonna put this one to like 120 put this one to zero and then easy ease and then this is the graph I do this is to like um make your text uh you know overshoot and then I'm gonna make a square box square mask box and have it you know mask it like this And then what I like doing is, um, I like putting posterized time over my text. It gives it like a, a cool look. I, lo I love posterized time. I use posterized time on like everything. So say I just grab a random thing right here like this. I'll put like, I don't know, fill on it. Yeah, sure. That looks cool. It doesn't matter what you really put, you know, it's just an idea. With this, I'm going to just do a position in. Okay, I'm gonna opacity it and have the opacity come into like mid, like the midway, like where the graph is going up. So it can look something like that. And then another thing I do with my text, I, I like using shape layers a lot. You know, it makes it like, it makes the text stand out. And then I'm gonna put a fill just make it like I don't know since the little thing at the bottom is red I'll put it red all right so like it would be something like this you can also do more shape layers you know any way you want to your text like really make sure that your um 
your uh, text is under your shakes. Maybe you can add the text look smooth or take out the posturized time. It's really up to how you like your text to look. That's how it looks with posturized time and this is how it looks without it. You know, just have some cool text around the screen too. Like, you know, I'm not gonna animate this right now, but. You know, just to make it, you know, make it look cool, you know? I mean, that's, that's really it. Um, there's nothing really more, you know? Uh, I'm gonna put the project file in a Google Drive. We'll be in, um, we'll be in the description. You feel me? And that's really it.